All right, all right. What's up, guys? We're talking about the five tests that women give. There's five tests that women give to test your masculinity or to test to see how you, where you are in a relationship. I'll give you those examples. For example, mystery, right? Number five is mystery. Number five, women do t test a guy's mystery when they try to date someone or trying to see what this person is made of. In other words, they can't get a good read on you because you are a mystery, which is attractive. So, for her to determine if you're a good match for her, if you're, or if you're a good fit, i.e. maybe your attitude or how you respond to the shit test, that will give her a good indication if you're, you know, if, they should, if she should move forward, if she can continue with you guys, if she can make find you as a match for her, right? So that's one. Number four, incongruence. Now, if you're incongruent, what does that mean? That means your words say one thing and you behave another way, right? So in other words, for her, she can't de determine or discern what side of the fence you're on. So what she does is gives you this test and how you respond to her shit tests, right? Will tell her a, a lot about who you really are, whether you're acting or what you're saying, right? Your words should be a bond, but if you're behaving in a different manner, she'll be able to discern which person you really are, right? It helps her out, helps her to decide when it comes to you and her being attracted to you, right? Next one. Three, relationship test, right? The strength of your relationship. In other words, oftentimes we get in relationships, we are bonding, right? Where it's called intercourse, we're intermingling. And as you do that, especially long-term marriage, these things, women will go off tilted because the guy's being too soft. Sure, she wants you to, to give what she wants. Sure, she wants to, uh, to, to say she wants this and that. You do all those things. But when you do all those things, guys, if you do everything she asks you to do, it becomes boring and mundane. She loses attraction. Why? The strength isn't there. She needs you to be strong still, yes, no, and have your own terms and, not, and be unbreakable at points and times, right? Not always, but she wants you to be able to make up your own mind most of the time, right? So that's what happens. When you make up your own, when you show strength, she's become more attractive to you. Four, confidence, to test your confidence. She can give you a rejection. She can say, matter of fact, if you're meeting someone, she can say, oh, well, that shirt is so ugly. And then you can turn around, based on your response, you can say, what do you mean by that? Oh, this is the best shirt ever, or whatever. Or you can say, oh, don't be jealous, I can't wear my shirt, my shirt's the best shirt ever, right? Something to that effect. Or you can say, or you can say, yeah, it's a bad shirt until I start wearing it, now it's hot. Or you can say, or you say something like, you're just jealous, the shirt's not on you, that's all, I just look good in it, don't get jealous. You know, I still like you, something like that, right? Something corny, you don't know, have to be affected, but the, it's how you respond. That's the key, right? You respond in, with humor, right? Oh, you're just jealous it's not your shirt, right? You know, I'll get you one if you're a good girl. That's it. And you, that's it. It shows confidence, right? She says, wow, this guy is really confident, right? He's used to being jarred. He's used to being teased or poked at. And he, he handles it well, right? He deals with rejection very well. He overcomes rejection. Women love that trait. Why? Women fear rejection, right? And you're showing strength in that moment of rejection. How to flip it and turn it around. It's a survival code, which women find very attractive. Attraction. The last one's attraction. Number one, she actually likes you. She likes you a lot. Again, she wants to find out your personality. But a, a, a rejection, like I said before, it, it, it tells a lot about a person's confidence all in one. But when a woman likes you, she will give you the test, the shit test, because she has certain structured criteria, right? There's certain, she's difficult, or she wants to see how difficult she can be, and if you can still uh, uh, win her over, right? She wants to be the prize, so to speak, which she's not going to be the prize. She's going to be the prize for you, the prize for her, but she wants to feel like she's the prize, right? So you give her that feeling, guys. But you're still the prize at the end of the day. So her giving you uh, shit tests and you passing them shows you have patience and confidence, which is maturity, right? And she becomes very attracted, right? Because you you could get because most guys and in, in a say, meeting or bar restaurant they'll say oh they, they won't put on with all these this nonsense of her, with, that she's putting through, and you're doing it for your own edification, your own strength, and playing with these these shit tests tests will come i know we, we don't like it as men we're like oh forget all this testing what is all this testing all about but that's what they do and you have to understand that right 
And the best way to do that is to cut through the bull and get to the get to the passing of the test. The more you pass, the more attractive she becomes. That's the king. That's the game, guys. Like, subscribe, comment below. You and your family, I got you. Excel, and I'm out.